Welcome back to another episode of Tech and Tesla. Okay, so it's time for the next installation. And I wanna show you guys what I ordered from Hancho. These are the Model Y light up door sills. So let's go through the unboxing. I'll show you what it looks like. It's a super easy install and take you along for the ride to install one in the front and one in the back because there's a slight difference between the two. This is not the light up I was talking about, but I will include a link in the description below. Um, it's just as easy as changing the light bulb that's under here. And, um, and then you get the shadow lights, they're called. So, uh, so that's pretty cool. For some reason, the back ones uh, wouldn't work. So I gotta try that again, but the front ones do work. Okay, this is how it comes. Comes with your, your two front ones as well as the two back ones. These are little positioning um, uh, O-rings, I guess you can call them, and I'll show you how that installs. It's pretty easy. Comes with instructions, which aren't all that helpful, to be honest. These are extra felt uh, pads, and you have extra magnets and extra um, double-sided tape in here if you ever need to change the batteries. Um, so yeah, these do run off of batteries. There's two batteries on each one. Um, being that it's, it only stays lit for about 15 seconds once the door is opened. Um, so you're not going to um, be needing to change these batteries all that often. But um, if you want to have any extras on hand, they are the CR uh, 2032s or CR2430. So um, there's two batteries, these just pop right off and um, you can uh, change the battery. Now, before you install these and get it all taped on there, you, you wanna give them a test to make sure that they're working. So if you take one of the extra magnets that they give you and you put it over this area here, you can see that it lights up. So you know that it's working. Okay, let's get to the install. Okay, so when you go to position these, it's very simple because it kind of locks into position there. So you know you're in the right spot. And um, yeah, we're gonna take off the double-sided tape. We'll uh, press on this to get it set in place. And then I'll show you how to do the install with the magnet. But first, what you wanna do is get this all cleaned up. So it's not terribly dirty, but get yourself some sort of interior cleaner. You want, you want to make sure the double-sided tape is going to adhere. And you also want to do the un underside of the door because that's where the magnet's going to stick. So just give the underside of the door a clean also. There you go, it's kind of locked in place there. You just want to give it some pressure Good uh, 10 seconds or so where that double-sided tape is. Right now, what you wanna do is, this is the magnet that you're gonna be installing underneath the door. Just get this out of the way for now. Don't lose it. And there was a little, there was double-sided tape that just kinda came off. So, I'm just gonna leave that facing up. Now we're going to take one of those O-rings and you want to do it adhesive side up. So we're going to put it right over this one here. So this is going to show us on the bottom of the door where to put the magnet. So adhesive side up, just like that. And then we're going to close the door and then open it and then it should be gone. Is gone okay this is where it moved to so just put a little pressure on it just to make sure it doesn't fall off since we have our location marked again some good pressure
After tearing the positioning cotton on the door, paste the transparent film on the magnet. So yeah, they, they want you to rip that off, that, that positioning disc, and then you're just gonna put it on one of these uh, stickers there, little clear stickers. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, the little sticker here says remove film after installation. So we can... Now, Hansho sells a silver one and a black one. So I went with the black. And it kind of has like a nice brushed um, effect to it. So very nice. Okay, let's shut the door and open it. And hopefully this uh, turns on. There we go. All right, I'll take you for part of the install on the back door. It's slightly different. I'll show you what I mean. So the only thing that's different on the back door is you don't have an existing one to go over. So it kind of just, you have to kind of feel where the spot is. You go too far this way, it starts to curve up. There's a gap under this side. And if you go too far this way, you have a gap on over here. So somewhere like right in between the two, which is like right about here, it kind of feels like it almost has a spot. But you're gonna to wanna to do it where it's even, where my two fingers are from the uh, crease of the door here. I'm gonna put a little piece of tape here. Kind of use that as a guide as to where I want this. Can't go for too far this way. I can't go too far this way. So this seems to be, okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So as far as the height, I can put a piece of tape there or just kind of go by feel. All right. I go through my two pieces of guide tape using my fingers to kind of keep it straight across. All right, the rest of the install on the back door is the, is the same as the front door, so I don't need to uh, take your time doing that. So um, my thoughts are this is really um, a super easy install. Um, Tesla has their own there. It's about 250 bucks, I think. Last time I checked, could be more now. Um, and that's um, only two. And then you have to take off the existing sill. So you got to get you know heat gun, get all that adhesive off. This is just nice and easy put it right over and if you ever want to go sell your car or you um, you don't like them anymore you want to just take them off you still have the existing uh, sill underneath so one more time let's take a look at this and uh, if you enjoyed the video please hit a thumbs up any questions on the install put it in the comments below and as always drive safe okay here's how it looks at night Pretty cool. So that was 15 seconds since I opened the door. So there it is, and we'll check out the back. And there it is. So very cool. Definitely suggest this install. Not to mention the puddle lights look really cool at night too. So.